Hi guys. Hi everyone. In this video, we want to talk about Cebu, and uh, I want to tell you how we arrived in Cebu from Sikikor. We decided to go back to Dumaguete, and from Dumaguete to take a tricycle to Cibulon Port to reach Lilon. Uh, the main thing to do in Cebu is to do canyoneering. Uh, we did it in Mall Ball. The average price is 1,200 pesos. We visited other waterfalls like uh, Inabakan waterfall and Dao waterfall. Dao waterfall was much nicer. It's a bit of like uh, easy canyoning without jumps. And when you arrive, there is this majestic waterfall and you can swim in it. And uh, it's not very well known, Dao waterfall. We heard that Agunid waterfall that are nearby Dao, they are also nice, but it takes a bit more time because there are five levels like in Abakan. There are plenty of waterfalls, you can choose. Uh, we didn't have so much time in Cebu because uh, we are in a quite small trip here in the Philippines. We have seen also old sardine runs. It's uh, for free. Actually, we were just snorkeling and we saw plenty of them. If you're lucky, you can see also turtles, but we didn't see turtles. We went to White Beach. We spent half of the day there. Simone played um, volleyball, volleyball uh, with other people. It was nice. It's not like super amazing beach because we've seen many beautiful beaches and it's difficult to surprise us. Yeah. But if you are in Mall Ball, I think it's a nice spot to yes. spend a few hours at least here. Yeah. And it's nearby. Cebu is all about waterfalls. If you like hikes, if you like waterfalls, that's a good place for you. Yes. So you should do canyoneering. That one was really cool and we did it on a rainy day. So actually if it, yes. the weather is not so sunny, it's, it's fine. But the canyoneering, this weather suits, so it's not that bad. A lot of jungle vibes. Uh, the canyon is uh, in the jungle. So if you have never seen the jungle, it's really cool. We advise to do it. Three hours it takes, yeah, I think so takes around three hours it can take more even four hours it depends like our group were they were really really slow so we took like uh, i think more than four hours yeah but actually it's anyway gonna be uh, slow because uh, we were lucky to have a small group there were only five of us yes. but normally it's like 10 or 12 Ten. people and they all like ants crawling in this <laughs> canyon <laughs> yes. you wear this life jacket all the time and you jump also all the time in this With life jacket, jacket yes. yeah, it makes it even easier to jump it's not that bad and help you floating so you just take it easy yeah so this is what we did in Cebu um, five days for night we have we have done enough and a lot actually so if you plan to stay more of course there are much more things to do but if you're like us on a like month trip here in Philippines and you want to spend five days in Cebu it's uh, it's it's okay, it's actually the, you, you will see like the main thing. We took a bus uh, to go back, to go to another island, we took a bus to the Cebu city. Better to do like this probably if you have to, you can rent a car or you can take a bus. Bus is super cheap, but it goes around four hours, three, four hours, although it's only 68 kilometers from Mobile to yes. Cebu City, but it's really like it stops all the time, people keep yeah. coming. I mean, it's noisy, it's like local style, you can feel the atmosphere. And uh, then we took a flight from Cebu because there is an airport. So maybe Cebu will be like the same as for us, like a, yes. a point of many connections to your next island. So you yes. will have to spend some time in Cebu. Difference of fees. The bus, the public bus is 175p pesos and like the the van normally is like 2000. But it was fine. It was fine. It was fine. Last time, as yes. I remember, it was even longer. Maybe they, they fixed something for this. There's more buses or something, I don't know. So yeah, this is uh, what you can do in Cebu. That's a really nice island and we hope that this itinerary will be helpful for you.